Hello and welcome to your first DT lesson for this term and we're going to be looking at night lights. What you need for this lesson is the sheet which is uploaded on your purple mash for lesson one. You need something to write with and you need to, something to write on. So pause the screen and get those things ready for me. Okay, so we're first going to begin by looking at some key people and those people are Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was born in 1847 and he died in 1931. He was an American inventor and businessman. All of the images you can see have elements that were invented by Edison and his company of inventors. Edison was an inventor himself and he also owned a business where other inventors worked on his behalf. Edison and his company invented things like sound recording, motion pictures, and even early versions of the light bulb. He has one, around 1,093 patents to his name. Patents are things that we have to pay for in order to stop somebody from copying us. So if we patent something, we have to pay for the rights of it before somebody copies us. Nikola Tesla, who was born in 1856 and died in 1943, was a Serbian-born inventor who later lived in America. He was an engineer and an inventor. All of the images were originally inventions of Nikola Tesla. How many do you know? Tesla pioneered inventions that used electricity to run. Because of how new and different his ideas were, many other inventors thought he was not of sound mind. He had around 300 patents in his lifetime and around 278 have been given to him since his death. Here's some further information. What I'd like you to do is pause the screen and read through this information for me. So now I'm going to show you a video about Edison and Tesla. Inventor ahead of time with 300 patents, inventor of the alternating current, induction motor, radio, and many more devices, Nikola Tesla. And his opponent in the blue corner with a whopping 1,093 patents, former boss of Nikola Tesla and iconic inventor of the light bulb from Ohio, United States, Thomas Edison. Who do you think will win this fight? Let's begin. There was a time when Thomas Edison was praised a lot for his inventions of direct current or DC electricity. Edison was clearly a genius scientist who apart from inventing the light bulb also made use of DC electricity for a large variety of items. However, in the same area, a young scientist named Nikola Tesla came into the picture. Quite younger than Edison, Tesla was quite impressed with Edison's work and idolized him. He was desperate to meet Edison and show him his work. A lack of money to travel from one country to another made sure Tesla never reached Edison, but a professor of Tesla recommended him to Edison saying, there are two geniuses I know of, Sir Edison. One is you and the other is this young fellow named Nikola Tesla. Tesla borrowed money from the professor and reached Edison traveling in a ship. Edison was impressed with the work of Tesla and told him to build an alternating current or AC generator and promised him 80% of the royalties, which was just sarcasm Tesla couldn't understand. He built it within weeks and when the time of payment came, Edison mocked him and threw Tesla out. Mortified and filled with anger, Tesla continued his work on alternating current, making more than 20 patents, including the alternating generator and the turbine. Soon, Tesla's AC approach became famous. Newspapers made Tesla a minor star of the time, which Edison couldn't stand. The media called the upcoming war of these scientists the War of the Currents. Thomas Edison started experiments in front of a big crowd, chaining an elephant with manacles and electrifying the poor animal with alternating currents just to prove how dangerous it was. Although Edison coveted the success of Tesla, and thought of him as an enemy, Tesla never considered Edison as his opponent. We can say that if Edison was a good writer, Tesla 
was the inventor of alphabets. This voice is brought to you by Tristan from Step Back History. Okay, so let's begin with lesson one. Our lesson objectives today are to understand the need for different forms of lighting, to understand the need for lights and to explore a range of products which incorporate lighting in some form. Vocabulary, these are words which you know, your turn, my turn, or rather my turn, your turn. Light, light, lamp, lamp, light bulb, light bulb. Well done. And these are words that you will meet today. Switch, switch, wire, wire, and energy source, energy source. Good job. Here are some key concepts that we know. We know that light has different purposes. We also know that lights have different designs depending upon their functions. And concepts that we will meet today are, light is used to indicate something is happening. Light is used to identify an area in a display. Light is used for decoration. And an electrical light source will have a light bulb, wires, power source, and switch. William is afraid of the dark. He especially hates it at bedtime. He needs something to help him. What could William use to help him? Pause the screen. Okay, you may have said that William may need a light, night light to help him. You may have said that William could use a torch to help him. You may also have said that William could just turn the lights on. So here's a design brief. William needs some sort of light so that his bedroom isn't dark, isn't so dark. So let's look at some existing light sources. We have a few light sources. Take a minute, pause the screen and have a look at each light source. So we need to think about a few things. We need to think about these things when we're designing our, our light, night light. So we need to think about what it is used for, who would use it, what material it's made of, what parts does it have, how does it work, what decorative features does it have. So what I want you to do is fill out this form. So you're going to have some examples. You take them from the slide before, I'll show you. So you're going to take your examples from here and you're going to put them in this table. What you're going to do is you're going to identify what it is used for, who would use it, what material it is made of, what parts does it have, how does it work and what decorative features does it have. So here's an example of what we'd like you to do. So you have the lamp and what it is used for. It is used to light up items on a desk. Who would use it? We have office workers, students and secretaries. What material is it made from? And we know it's made from metal and plastic. What, does, what parts does it have? So you have a shade, a stand and a switch. How does it work? For this lamp in particular, you need to press the switch. And what decorative features does it have? Well, this lamp, the only decorative feature that I can see is that the metal has been brushed so that it is shiny. And some people say that it is chrome, so it has a chrome effect. And then for the next three rows, you're going to choose an item from the images on the slides before. And the first one is a torch. So again, you're going to show what a torch is used for, who would use the torch, what material is the torch made from, what part does the torch have? How does the torch work? And what decorative features does the torch have? Okay, so pause the screen and get this one done for me. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at your evaluation of the existing light sources. So I want you to pause the screen and identify this question, what features will a lamp always have? So a lamp always has certain things, okay? So on your piece of paper, you can write down what all lamps should have. 
okay and then once you finish that you can go on to purple mash and fill in the two quiz for dt lesson one okay so you're going to go to purple mash and fill in the two quiz for dt lesson one well done and i'll see you next week for lesson two